Hey guys, it's time for another DIY project, and this is the first uh, electronics project I've done in a little while. This is the Bastille Instruments Propist, and it is a set of filters. So the way that it works, we have three banks or three sets of filters here. You put, if you put your input here, you get a high pass at this output. You put your input here, you get a low pass at this output. And that's just how it works. So it's just a simple fixed filter. It's completely passive. No power connection necessary. So you don't even need to put it into a housing. You can literally just use it like this. Um, you could plug guitar or keyboard or anything into it, but um, I'll probably demo it with like white noise or something. Um, but it's funny, the reason that I built this, it's not because I was really dying for a fixed filter module. It's because I looked for demos of it and there's not one out there. I could not find a single demo of this thing on the uh, internet. Maybe they were out there and I just couldn't find them. But I looked, couldn't find any on the manufacturer website or anything. And they sell this kit and this kit is really cheap. I think it was like $29 or something. So I said, well, hell, I'll just buy the kit, build it, and then I can do a demo. Then I'll know, and if I don't like it, you know, I could probably sell it for dang near what I paid for it. So anyway, so that's why I built it. Um, you can see here, it's a very simple kit. It just comes with all the parts on the back here. For each little set of, uh, of uh, filters, you've got three resistors and three capacitors and three jacks. And you just do that three times, and there's the whole filter. Um, if you can see there how there's lettering on there, you got to make sure you get the lettering going the same way. That's the only hard part, really. That's probably the hardest part, because if you put it the other way, it wouldn't work right, um, because you'd be everything would be backwards from the way the panel is labeled. So just make sure you get the lettering right. The other thing is, uh, all of these resistors they just come in bulk. The package just has everything in bulk, so you really need one of these. You really need a multimeter because nothing's labeled. So each one of these are different values, right? And unless you're really good at reading the little uh, band codes, it's easier to just meter them. And so that's what I did, I just metered, and it's marked on the board here. I know you can't see it now because all the components are in there, but on the board it's actually marked like, you know, this is a 470 or a 380 or whatever. So you just meter it out, drop that resistor in, solder it, meter it out, drop that resistor in, solder it. Same thing with the capacitor, it's very simple. Um, but anyway, it only takes a few minutes to put together. Very, very simple. And uh, let's go hear what it does. Okay, so here we go. Here's the uh, module in the rack. And uh, I'm gonna just use a white noise generator to uh, so you can kind of hear what it does. But first, let's uh, hear the white noise. So I'm sure we've all heard white noise before. Nothing special there, but um, that's the unfiltered signal. So then let's plug it into the high pass here. And here we go. So now you do get a little bit of a volume drop because it's a passive module, so I'll just boost in a little bit extra. Okay. Now, a lot of the volume drop is because you're filtering out the frequencies as well, but there's the high pass, the first high pass. Now, this is a little trick that the module has up its sleeve. So, as I mentioned before, you plug the input in here and the output here, you get a high pass. You plug the output here and the input here, you get a low pass. But if you plug the input here and the output down here, you get a bandpass. It's kind of a hidden filter that's in there. So, first bank of three, high pass, bandpass, low pass. All right, let's move on down the line here. Oops, yeah, that's right. So, next bank, high pass. Band pass, low pass. Next bank, high pass, band pass, low pass. So there's the basics of what that filter does, and you're probably thinking, okay, that's neat, but what's a practical application of that? Well, first of all, um, you could use it to clean up mixes. So if you have something that's real that's really boomy, you could use one of the high passes that's in a, a lower range, meaning it takes out just a little bit of, of uh, boom. 
Or if you have something that's kind of squelchy and kind of hard on the ears, you could use it to kind of trim off those high frequencies. But here's a little, um, a little uh, practical application of this. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken that white noise source and I've put it into a VCA and then I um, just took the clock pulse and sent it to an envelope generator. So instead of just going and doing a constant white noise hiss, it's gonna be like So it's kind of choppy, right? Or kind of, um, what's the word, kind of rhythmic. So now that's our input signal coming in here. Let's try it on this first filter. So this is a high pass. And we hear we're getting kind of a, almost like a hi-hat kind of sound or something. So that's kind of neat. Let's see what happens if we try the low pass on this one here. So here we're getting almost more of like a snare drum sound or something. All right, let's try the other, let's try the middle section here. So again with the high pass. So again, very percussive. Oh, that's definitely more like snare drummy. Snare drummy, is that an adjective? I don't know. All right, let's try this third set here. So here's the high pass. So again, very percussive, almost kind of like a shaker or something. And finally, the last low pass. So really low on that one, so that's almost more like an accent or something. Maybe a crash cymbal or something. So you can see right there that easily with this module, um, you can create percussion sounds from noise very easily without having to take up a filter. So, you know, when you do that traditionally, you're going to be using up a filter that could be used for something, you know, more timbral. So this is kind of a neat little thing for that or cleaning up mixes or what have you. Let's do one more example. Okay, so for this example, I've just taken an oscillator and I've given it a sequence. Um, and it's kind of in a little bit of a higher range so that you can hear maybe a few more uh, changes in there. But um, anyway, let's go ahead. So here's the first high pass filter with the sequence. So you can see we just get the very like tip top of the harmonics there. Let's see what happens if we do the low pass on that. Okay, very different. So this sounds more like a traditional, um, like if you had a, fi a fi uh, or standard filter, a voltage control filter, and you kind of tuned it to a cool frequency, you might do something like that. Let's try this one. Okay, definitely getting some computery sounds there. And then let's try this one. Low pass again. So definitely a little different than the last one. And finally, the last set. So again, pretty computery sounding. And then finally, let's do the uh, last low pass. So again, that sounds kind of like something you might tune in on a traditional filter. So this is kind of a useful little module. I mean, it's, it's very small, um, passive, so it doesn't take up any power or anything like that. And it's kind of neat because it's just a little great way to clean up mixes or just act as a filter in a pinch, you know? So if you've got you know, a couple filters in your rack and you don't need to utilize them all for all your sounds, you can uh, sometimes just use, utilize something like this just to, to kind of uh, season up a sound, if you will. So kind of a fun little project, pretty simple. It's the uh, Bastel Propus.